Eternal Blade, and welcome to part 39, I believe, of our lovely tutorial. Um, let's see what we're going to do. Right, convert this to an editable poly. Take the two outer edges, chamfer. I'm just giving a small chamfer. Delete that. Copy this one over. Same with this uh, center one. So I hope you know what I'm doing by now. I've done it quite a lot. I'm just selecting, control clicking, chamfer. Okay. Next, we're going to copy this over here. both of our hinge things. Bring them like so. Perspective. And let's just drop them in place. And these are actually supposed to be lower. So drag those down a bit. could add a little bit more detail, but I'm going to have this closed in my final render. So, but if you want, you could add various uh, things like these or these, but they don't really matter to me. All I know is I want to get done with this toilet, as I'm sure all of you do. Alright, uh, select all this thing, go in the front, and rotate it 90 degrees. B files. Let's choose this one. And this is just pretty much to figure out what the handle looks like. I'll just roughly do this. Make a box. Perspective here and convert to editable poly. Select the edge, connect, slide it down a bit. Okay. Extrude. Not too far. Scale it in a bit. Select all the edges. Chamfer. Give it a small chamfer. Give it a mesh smooth. Alright. Um, there we go, that's pretty good. Next, to make a cylinder right in the center here. Comes out. And put it back in. And then let's put it about where it goes, which is here. Go to the top view. Try to place it. Alright, and it can intersect a bit, and then what we have to do is just rotate it out a bit because it's actually angled on the toilet itself. Alright, let's actually scale this down a bit. Looks a bit weird. Ladies and gentlemen, I believe we have ourselves a toilet. Look at this. So, save right now, all of you. Then just kind of stare at it for a while. Group toilet. I don't even know how many parts we spent on this thing, but it feels good to finally have it done. Give it a black mint or black wireframe and a gray material. Sign to selection. Unhide all. Scale it 
down. Go in the top of the viewport here. And position it. Rotate it 90, or 180 degrees. Let me go figure out how big it is. Alright, so at its widest point it is 18.5, so let's make a box. And then uh, make the width 18.5. Next, select our toilet here. And that's, well, that's actually pretty good. So delete that. Go to our front view. And let's bring our toilet down from space. Alright, go into perspective. Let's just see what that does. It's very nice looking. Let me go get the measurement from the walls. Alright, it's two inches from the back wall and centered in there. So, box, length. a glorious toilet. That was the last step. In, or, uh, well, actually, I'm getting ahead of myself here. Almost the last step. So, next, we want to create a plane in the top here. Okay. Uh, make it gray. And then, we're going to want to select this light.